Now I'm going to show you how to do subtraction with the stamp game. We're going to do dynamic subtraction, which means we're going to do some borrowing. So that means the top number is sometimes going to be smaller than the bottom number, and it means we have to borrow from the neighbor. So you can only borrow from the neighbor that's on the left. So the units can only borrow from the tens, the tens can only borrow from the hundreds, and the hundreds can only borrow from the thousands. And because we only have four place values with the stamp game, we can't do anything higher than 1,000. So the 1,000 will always have a bigger number on top, and I'll show you what I mean. I'm gonna write this problem for us to do. 6,423 minus 2,576. Six is bigger than two, but all of these digits up here are smaller than these digits down here. Three is smaller than six, two is smaller than seven, four is smaller than five. So we're going to have to borrow for the units, the tens, the hundreds, not the thousands, because we don't have any ten thousands to borrow from. So I need to get all of the top number out. I need three units. I need two tens, I need four hundreds, and six thousands. That was a unit in the wrong spot. Okay, let's double check this. One, two, three, four, five, six, okay. Do you see my assistant that's sitting right here watching? That's Polly. Okay, so we need to take six away from three, but do we have enough? No, we can't take, take six from three. So we have to borrow from the neighbor. Do you remember how many units equals 110? 10. So if I borrow a 10 from the neighbor, if I borrow 110, I can get 10 units out and put them down here. And then will I have enough to take six away? Yeah. So I'm put, gonna put 10 back, 110 back and get 10 units out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I'm gonna put them down here. I'm gonna push this up a little bit. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so I need to take six away. I can do that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I'm gonna move on to my tens. I need to take seven away, but I only have one ten left. And you're gonna say, wait, why is there one ten? We have two tens here. Well, remember we borrowed one. We borrowed one and put it back so we could get enough units out. So we're left with one. So we need to take seven from one. And we can't do that if I borrow from the neighbor, which is always on the left side, if I borrow from the neighbor, how many tens makes 100? What's the magic number? 10. So I'm gonna put 100 back and get 10 tens out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. I think Polly's learning some things today. Okay, so we need to take seven away and now we have enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we need to take five from four. But wait, there's only three. Why is there only three over here? Because we borrow from the neighbor to give to the tens. So we only have three now. So five from three, we can't do that. So we're gonna borrow from our neighbor on the left. How many hundreds makes a thousand? 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. 
seven, eight, nine, ten. What do you think, Polly? Do you think these are toys? I'm surprised you haven't pushed one off the table yet. Okay, we need to take five away. We have enough to do that now. One, two, three, four, five. We need to take two away from, it's not six anymore, it's five because we borrowed. Can we do that? Yeah, there's enough. I don't have to borrow. One, two, I can take two away. So I'm gonna push all these together and we're going to write our answer. So how many units? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. And remember, your units is always on the right side. Always, always, always over here. And then how many tens? One, two, three, four. How many hundreds? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And how many thousands? One, two, three. Our answer is 3,847.